Well, praise the Lord, everybody. It's so nice to, to be back and uh, just be able to, to give a, a word of, of encouragement, hopefully, for you. I pray that your week has been wonderful. Your past week with your family on Thanksgiving was wonderful and beautiful. And as we are now in December and really tis the season, as really our focus uh, is, is on Jesus and, and all his goodness and grace and the things that he's done. You know, we're just uh, excited about what God has been doing, but also just anticipating the greatness of the Lord in 2021. Though, you know, 2020 isn't, uh, uh, um, you know, uh, disappointing us because as we're in December and we're hearing things in the news about the virus and 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 going back to you know uh stricter um guidelines you know god is still doing something wonderful in your life in my life he's still speaking and moving and and just even as things were loosening up i was thinking okay well i could do this and i could do that and this and that and and god's plan is is always greater and even though we may not understand or what's going on and or hoping for changes, man, isn't he doing a work in our hearts? I, I know my whole life has, in a lot of ways, has changed. And God has really been gently nudging me and pushing me to explore things in my life and in my heart that I have not wanted to touch and uh, sometimes it's challenging, even painful, but, but whose report do we believe, right? Isaiah 53, 1. Whose report are we going to believe? Are we going to believe the, 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 the news of the Lord? Are we going to believe the things that he's saying about us, about our life, about our church, uh, about our community? Because he's proven himself to be trustworthy. He's proven himself to be good. And I just want you to be encouraged as the government and and regulations are, are trying to dictate to us how we should live our life or how we should serve the Lord. And, and I'm all for safety and I'm all for being safe and, and not being foolish. But let's not take our eyes off of the Lord. Let's not take our, our hope off of him. Let's not be distracted by what the world is saying or, or wanting to do because God is great and God has so much in store for us, not only in this last month of 2020. Let's not be in a hurry and say like many that are saying, oh, I can't wait till 2020 is over. Let, let's not be like that. What does God have for us in these last moments, these last weeks? these last hours of 2020, because I think he has something great for us. And if we're looking for it, if we're anticipating him, if it's in our churches or now back on our online services, or if it's just in our quiet place by ourselves, Lord, what do you have for us in 2020? What is it in these last hours? Do you want to speak Jesus? Speak Lord. Speak, Lord, speak, right? Just like Eli in the book of Samuel, speak. Just like the, the, the counsel that Eli gave to young Samuel, speak, Lord, here I am. Let's make that our prayer for December. Not what am I going to get for Christmas? Not what am I going to give for Christmas? Oh, we have to change our tradition because of COVID or because of Gavin Newsom or wherever, whatever your governor is saying. No, no, that shouldn't be our focus. It should be speak, Lord. Speak for your servant listens. Maybe I just have a, a different focus on things. Maybe it's the rebellious spirit that I still have in me where everyone is saying, yes, 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 let's do this, 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 this. 
Maybe it's just the, re the rebellious spirit that God is still working. But I always say, Lord, everyone is saying this. But what are you saying? What do you want for us? As your church, God. As your children. I know people are saying this and society is saying that and church trends are saying this and the governor is saying that. But I want to believe your report. I want to hear what you have to say to us, God. In these last hours of 2020, I know through this whole time, God, you've been bringing me through this whirlwind of changes and of digging deeper into my heart, some of it willingly, some of it unwilling. But I say, I say, here we are, Lord, speak, speak to us, speak to us so we can follow your way. Give us a little glimpse of 2021, Lord, as we enter in, not blindly, because we know faith isn't blind. Faith is trusting and we trust the Lord. Be encouraged. Be encouraged in the changes. Be encouraged in the differences and the different things that we have to do. Possibly for our Christmas service. Possibly for your family gathering. Some of you are going through where it's the first holidays without loved ones that you've lost this year. Be encouraged. God, God, is, God is with us. And I know that that seems to be my, my repeated... Uh, encouragement. I just know myself that every single day I leave my front door of my house to go to work, to go to the hospital, to do things. There's a society and a mentality that wants to pull me away, that wants me to cover my ears and to only look one way. If it's just the tragedies or the negativities or the false information we receive, or the ungodly information. Speak, Lord. Here we are. I pray that you have a, a, a wonderful weekend, and I encourage you, continue to open your heart. Continue to tune yourself to the Lord. Tune yourself, because it's, it's a deliberate act. It's an, it's an intentional movement on our part to listen to the voice of the Lord, to look down at the path that He has set for us. He will never, He will never misguide us. Never. He will never misguide us. Tune in Sunday, 10 a.m. We're, we're online again. Well, we've always been online. Um, due to restrictions, we've, we, we have to not have in-house services, but services at 10 o'clock will be online. Join us with that. Comment so we know that you're there. Like, we'd appreciate it. God bless all of you. And in, in Jesus' name, uh, let's, let's continue in 2020, seeking the face of God. Let's not be in a hurry for it to be over. But in the last hours, see the movement of God. God, God bless you.